What's going on my plant people? I'm the ADHD gardener where I use gardening, house plants, and humor as a form of therapy. And we're gonna be reacting to some of these plant hack videos that we see all over the internet. I do notice that they are gonna speed through this. Let me tell you, they don't want you to think long enough to see if it work or not. Okay, a jar of honey, rose, and a potato. No, 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 it's not gonna work. And then you're gonna cut off the flower and the leaf. No, no. I'm, I'm, I paused it. The potato will eventually sprout or rot. There were no eyes on that potato. So chances are it could possibly rot. But then with the rose stem, then they cut off the leaf and the flower. How in the world is that gonna work? No, look at that. You're not gonna get a rose bush out of a freaking potato. All right, I'm not feeling it already. Let's move on. Okay, we got a water bottle, scissors, poke some holes. I get it. You have your succulents, putting them in the slits of the bottle. Okay. Put some water inside. All right. So here, here we go. All right. Succulents, first of all, take forever to propagate. Forever to do that. Do you really need to go through all this work just to propagate some succulents? You can just put these leaves right on top of the soil, mist, mist, and that's it. Aw, dead plants. We have a vase, we have some water. We have a rope with the wick. Okay, let's get this right out of the way. Yes, the rope will wick up water. However, did you see where she put that wick? Barely right on top of the soil? It's not gonna do anything. It's not gonna work just laying the wicked freaking rope on top of the soil. It's just not gonna work that way. Aw, uh, self waters for two weeks. Ah, man, nah, I don't, I don't see that happening. The only way I can see that happening is if you have that rope down in the roots all the way down, and even then, it's not enough. Now, nah. next, we got a hairbrush, pulling out that hair. Oh, look, look we got a peace lily. D okay, pause, pause this. They're using a peace lily. That peace lilies are known droopers of leaves when it is dry. So all you gotta do is just water the plant and it'll perk right back up. But no, those people wanna put in a hairball in the freaking soil. I'm sure, oh look, and magically it's rising all over again. Maybe because it's been watered. Whoa, do you see that bug right there? I believe that is a tomato hornworm caterpillar. Pencil sharpener, uh-huh, cedar wood repels pests let me tell you right now if you have a bunch of you know how many pencils you would need to shave in order to surround your plants multiple plants and whatnot with shavings if you have a really bad bug infestation these shavings may not work i have not tried them but i don't have a lot of faith in this okay we got a water bottle we cut it in half coffee filter okay Ah, I know where this is going. I know where this is going. I have grown in plastic bottles before. Plastic water bottles or plastic bottles in general, cut them and you can plant inside of them. This is totally true. I'm feeling this already. Okay, no plant food. Let's just use lemon, sugar, bleach. No, what? No, no, hold up, hold up. Okay, lemon, sugar, and bleach. I do not know what benefits bleach has in plants. I do not know. I have heard of sugar water for, you know, flower cuttings. I have heard of that, but I don't know about bleach. Let's continue. Ah, notice it's just a vase of flower cuttings. Easy plant food. Now this may work for plant cuttings, like flower cuttings, just like this. Eventually those flowers will still die. Have any of you tried using this in your plants? If you have, let me know in the comments down below. My gosh, just buy some fertilizer. Whoa, root rot, hydrogen peroxide and water. Mind you, nobody tells me the amount to what? Is it a one-to-one -one ratio or what? Okay, now this girl right here has been through a lot of root rot. Once your root rot is too far gone, I don't think hydrogen peroxide is gonna work at all. I still don't think that just watering from the top of the soil will do that. All right, we got some rice, water. They are taking out the starch from the water and putting them in some ice cubes. Okay, I can see that, no harm, no foul. 
freeze. Now you're gonna take these ice cubes and put them in the soil of the plant. Now I can get that, I can get with that. I have seen and heard a lot about people putting ice cubes on top of their plants to let it just kind of melt and water your plant. I don't think that this is gonna give enough nutrients as a substitute for plant food fertilizer. So, I mean, is it no harm, no foul? This is true. Same thing with the eggs. I'm assuming they're gonna use the water for this too. Yes, let it cool and calcium keeps the soil healthy. Again, this goes back to the whole rice thing. No harm, no foul though. Oh, we have that shoe holder. You've seen them. They're like really cheap. They're either plastic or some sort of fabric material. You can put all your shoes in them behind a door and whatnot. This is a great idea. However, they're putting the rocks on the bottom because there's no drainage hole. So they don't want your roots to rot. I would suggest poking a hole on the bottom with the rocks and all that so it can trickle down to the other plants on the bottom. This would not work if this was fabric. The orange is totally not necessary, man. It's not necessary. I don't see how you would need an orange. Okay, oh, we have the string of tears or the string of pearls. I think it's the string of tears. Either way, look at that. You got pests and bugs. Soap water will do it. You know, all right. For as many plants as I have, I have come across many bugs in my life and I've noticed that soap water is not enough. You need another ingredient. Oh, we have an ice cream cone, putting it in the soil, putting some seeds in, poorly watering. As you can see, it just fell right off the top. And yeah, the plant is growing. The cone acts as one, a holder, and two is you can just put that cone right out into the dirt and it could just kind of like biodegrade on its own. And look, and it is gonna say, hey, cone acts as a biodegradable seed starter. It just decomposes on its own, no harm, no foul. Oh. Hey, I already know what they're doing with this. They're gonna poke holes in this and they're going to, I have done this before you guys, not with a plastic egg carton container, but this is true. This also works with lettuce. I don't know about overnight though. I mean, what kind of plants are these? Oh, uh, this is a sad plant. That's, this plant is either the Aglianema or the Diffenbachia. That's what I'm thinking. All right, but either way, this plant is looking kind of sad. Rusty nail bunch of them in the all right mixing it up you're gonna get the rust off of it and you're gonna put it they're gonna water your plant they're gonna make you water the plant with it even if this was true this still does not substitute for fertilizer or plant food man it just does not this is not gonna cut it enough especially when your plants are growing you really need nitrogen and obviously iron is not nitrogen I wouldn't do it I would just buy some fertilizer oh look dry soil oh we have a water bottle. Oh, we're gonna poke some holes in it. You're gonna fill it up. Yes, this works, people. This works. You fill it up and it just slowly releases the water in the soil. This has, this does work. I have done this before. Not that big of a plastic bottle and not that many holes, but yes, I've tried this before. This is pretty good for a slow release water system kind of thing. So yeah, totally doable. Okay, whoa, spoiled milk and soil, mix it up, Ugh. okay. I'm not touching spoiled milk. All right, moving, <sighs> not touching it. It's not really gonna do much. So I wouldn't even do this at all. This is a no harm, no foul kind of situation again, but dude, get some fertilizer, man. Make your own. Aw, oh man, dirty nails, yes! This works. I do it all the time, especially when I had longer nails than I do now, okay? So this does work. Great idea, great idea. Okay, we got a pineapple, take off the head of it. A few leaves, toothpicks, yes. I have done this before. I have done this. This is a way to propagate your pineapple. Notice that it said six to eight weeks for that pineapple to grow. These will take a long time, two, three months to even get a few roots. And frankly, I am impatient, so I didn't want to wait. Mung beans. I've never messed with mung beans before. All right, put them in a jar, some water. Okay, you need to cover it. Cheesecloth, I have cheesecloth. All right, I guess that's just to prevent the flies. Leave for two days and germination. 
Okay, I have not personally germinated seeds this particular way of dumping a whole bunch of seeds. Have I though? I think I've done this before, but I do know that yes, you can germinate seeds from having water all around it. Oh, we got an avocado. Oh, that was an easy way to take out the avocado seed. Toothpick, I've done this too. I've done this also. But this takes like two to three months. Transfer six to eight weeks. This is gonna take a long time to germinate. All right, we got a lemon, take out the seeds. Oh, okay, you're just gonna put a lemon seed in the soil. Now here, here's the dilly. When you are planting or germinating seeds, these seeds are dry. When you have a moist seed like that, it's just going to deteriorate and rot inside of the soil. I don't think this is going to work at all. I've had this work with tomatoes in some weird, weird way that on accident, I wound up putting tomatoes in my compost pile and then putting that compost in my dirt and then wind up getting tomatoes. Yes, that has happened to me. Some of these worked, some of these did not work. Some of them I have tried. Some of them I have not at all. I hope you liked this video. Let me know in the comments down below, have you tried any of these hacks before? Did some of them work for you? Did some of them not work for you? Let me know. And don't forget, if you like this video, smash that like button, I really appreciate it. And don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell. I drop a video every week and then some in between. Until then, till next time, peace.